Hello, good morning. I want to do a quick video regarding the calibration for the JX Pro, the Easy Press L JX Pro grinder. Um, this is something that continues to confuse some people. Um, Easy Press L, at one point a while ago, they did actually update their information on the website um, regarding how to do this and, and their method, where you literally you need to take the adjustment dial off and kind of adjust the thumb nut underneath a few clicks to, to kind of bring the number around wherever that number lands in the starting position. If it's kind of like here or here or whatever, you have to take the adjustment dial off and then adjust the, the thumb nut underneath and you know a few clicks will bring that around until you get the zero into the starting position to calibrate it. Now, this continues to kind of confuse people, and I've had numerous people asking me about this. Um, so, this is going to be a video showing you what the Easy Presso guide is, and also what I use, my kind of hack. It's a quick guide that I feel is quicker than the Easy Presso guide, but I'm going to I'm going to do both, so people have something to reference, and they can choose which one's easier for them. So, I'm going to do the Easy Presso guide first. Then I'll do my quick guide after that. So you want to start by assembling your grinder. Okay, put your burrs in. Obviously make sure these two parts are on correctly. Put your burrs in to your body and push that up. And then this bit, I like to always start with this dot here at the top in line with that one. So turn that and that will drop into place. Next bit, bearings, drop that in and then this bit, that will only go in one way because it's got a flat side and a round side so that should, should just drop into place like so. That's it. Then your thumb nut. Now this part is quite important to pay attention to because your thumb nut will only tighten all of the weight if you really push up from below with your hand so your burrs are in completely and you can see if I'm moving that <coughs> it's not going to go in completely so you won't be able to tighten your thumb nut all of the way unless you really push up with that. Some people don't do that and then obviously you can have a problem later you can hear it clicking Okay, now that is all the way and it won't go any further. So at that point you, you can kind of leave go of that. And you can see your burrs, they're turning, they're still open. All right, now at this point I'm going to put on my adjustment dial. Now this is what Easy Press will tell you what to do. I always start with a zero at the top for reference, so I know when I need to take that back off, it's always going to be in the same position when I start. I'm not sure if that's relevant, but that's the way that I do it and, and, and it kind of works for me. So at that point, I keep my fingers gently on the burrs at the bottom to stop them moving when I turn it, and then just tighten your adjustment dial all of the way. Now you can also push up a little bit, like so, with your fingers. You want to go a little bit faster. Okay, now you'll feel that when the resistance starts. And there, I don't want to really turn that any further. I feel like that's good enough for me. I can like that a click wall, but I don't. I don't feel that I need to do that. So at this point, I've got it just below or just over slightly the number two. I want the zero around to there. Now, what Easy Press will advise you to do is to take that back off, like so. Take your adjustment style back off, like that. And then your thumb nut, you need to hear the click, one click. I'm going to go two clicks to see what I've got. Two clicks. Then Put your adjustment dial back on. Again, I'm going to start in the zero position so I've got a, a basis for my start position and then tighten that again. Alright, see what we've got right now. And there, that's 
zero. You can see my burrs are fully closed because I can't turn them. So that is calibrated. I could turn that a little bit more slightly because there's not so much resistance, but I don't advise you to do that because you don't want to over tighten your burrs. But that's basically it. My number, my zero was round about here. I turned it two clicks. So you're talking roughly one click per number. That's debatable, but that's what I had right there. I can turn that a little bit more like that. That's not really got a lot of resistance, but you don't really need to do that. There's also an argument that your birds shouldn't be totally closed because they're touching. Again, that's another argument for another day, but I kind of agree with that in a way because sometimes I like to loosen my birds slightly like that so they're not touching. You can see they're still not they're still not turning, so they are still closed there. Um, you can also test that by putting on your grind handle and turning it sideways and if the handle moves, your burrs are not closed. If it doesn't move, then, then your burrs are closed. So you can kind of do that also. And that's the easy press or way of calibrating your grinder. So my method is, again, you need to assemble your grinder and again I advise doing the same with the dot in the top just drop that in like so and this part and again same with this I'll just drop in whatever way there it's got the flat side and then your thumb nut and again push up with your hand, the burrs from below, so they're in completely. And if you need to, just tighten it, you know, to some point, and then you've got a better grip, maybe with your right hand to finish that. That there is tight, so you can leave go at that point. Now, again with this, the same as before. Where you're going to, I'm going to start with my zero number at the top in that position. And again, I'm going to push up from below with the burst just for speed to get the adjustment dial on there quickly. And we'll see what we've got. Okay, you can feel like tightening up now. And okay, that to me is okay. Now you can see it's, it's mine's landed in the, the one position. Now sometimes it'll go over, and we'll talk about that in a, in a moment, but that's better because then you don't have to really mess around so much um, sometimes it'll be over here a little bit and then you know there'll be a little bit more adjustment but what I do at that point is I'll loosen my adjustment dial just a little bit so I can actually turn the burrs with my fingers that's not enough so just a little bit more and you can see now when I move that you can see the burrs are moving now see this straight edge again that's for reference I'll keep that on the left here. Now what I'll do is I'll just slightly move the burrs to the right. You can see that straight edge is moving around that way a little bit. And then I'll tighten my, my adjustment dial again. See how that's moving around now? It's still not enough. It's a little bit off and that's tight now. So I'll move it back around so I can move my burrs again. Like so. And I'll move that slightly more. A little bit more to the right. Then I'll tighten my burrs again. See? There. That's in the zero position right now, and my burrs are not moving, they're closed, so my grinder is calibrated at that point. If your zero is further around here, just move the burrs to the right a little bit more, and it'll bring that number around again. Now, the issue is where if the zero goes around here, you're going to have to move it the opposite direction, the same kind of increments again, slightly, and then tighten it and that will bring that back round um, and it works so that for me is a lot easier than kind of taking the adjustment dial off and then you know adjusting the thumb nut and then putting it back on and if it's not right then taking it off again and doing it again until you've got it right that's very quick for me that is the, the quickest method and you can see that's calibrated the burrs are not turning so that's basically it so I say if that's really helpful for you and you find that easier than the easy press on method, try it. And you, it might take a few goals for you to just get the hang of it, but it's a lot easier um, and it'll save you time in the long run. So I hope that's helpful for anybody. And again, if you if you like my videos and you like my content. 
please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and i really appreciate that so have a have a great weekend and good luck